the average African in Rhodesia is the type of African that relies on the European to help him. Uh, he's employed by the Europeans as house boys, garden boys. We pay for their rents, we pay for their food, we allow them all sorts of things. If they took it over now, it would be chaos. If, once they're educated to European standards and so on, there wouldn't be chaos and the Europeans would accept it. You think the blacks are perfectly capable mm. of, over right. the long haul, of reaching that mm. capability? Yes, they are. I mean, there are a lot of them now who are capable of it. But, yeah, out of the, what are there, seven million of them, of that seven million, you might have 7,000. We are one of the few God-fearing countries in the world who have looked after the Africans. If you study our history, and you'll find that we have brought these Africans from absolute primitive, a primitive way of life right up into a civilization equal to one of the best in Africa. And therefore, uh, we as, as Rhodesians are here, and uh, we intend to stay here. And we are prepared to share our country with our black brothers as, uh, and Rhodesians. This trouble that we are having on our borders is not a, a racialist war. It's a, a war against communism.